Let's do this, shall we? Hi everybody, my name is Taylor and today I'm gonna to be giving you my five tips for vintage shopping. So I'm gonna start off by saying that I live in Vancouver, British Columbia and in this city, finding good vintage pieces can be really tough. I've had a lot of conversations with people about it and I don't know what it is, but it's just really hard. So I thought I would give you guys these tips just in case you're feeling the same way as I do. I always seem to have success when I'm looking for these specific things. My first piece of advice is to look for velvets. You may have noticed over on the side here, I have got a little velvet piece hanging up. This is a piece that I just picked up. It's a cropped velvet blazer. I'm gonna be styling this piece buttoned up with some blue jeans and I think maybe a pearl necklace if I can find it. I think I have a vintage one at home actually that I inherited from somebody that will just look so cute with it. I just think if I saw somebody walking down the street in this velvet top, oh, the way that it shines, I love how velvet shines like that, my eye would just be so captured and you look classic, you look really beautiful. I'm so excited about this piece, Ooh, oh my gosh. And I've got lots of other velvet pieces that are also kind of jewel tones, like I've got a purple velvet shirt and I've got a blue velvet shirt as well, all thrifted, all vintage. So that's my first tip. My second tip to you guys, and this is honestly one of my favorite things to look for when I go vintage shopping, is to find sequined tops. This one sitting over here, you can see, oh my gosh, can we just take a moment? Are you kidding me? I find tops like this actually quite often, especially when I go to stores like Mintage here in Vancouver, they always seem to have a section where they've got sequined tops. Pairing this with a skirt or Actually, I was gonna wear this with, again, a pair of blue jeans just to dress it down and wear it for every day. Just absolutely fantastic. Maybe put a little bit of gold jewelry again with it, maybe some gold hoops. But this shirt doesn't need a lot. It really speaks for the outfit. I think I got my first sequin top when I was in high school and then I just kept looking for them ever since. You just can't find pieces like this in regular stores. Like these things have to be thrifted, have to be vintage for them to really be this level of quality as well. So that is tip number two. My third tip is to look for graphic tees. This one's hard because I don't have a clear thing that I look for in vintage t-shirts. I just go with my gut. If I'm like, you know what, that one's gonna look good, that one's got a good detail on it, or that one's got a good graphic on it that I really like and that vibes with me, then I go for it. So for example, I've got this shirt that says Grease on it. I love the stripes and I also love the cityscape on the shirt. It's got some fine little trees down there. I've paired this so far by like tying it up and putting it with some black jeans and some black booties. I could also tie it up and put it with, oh my gosh, I have an amazing silk skirt that would look so good with this. You can really dress it up or dress it down, but it's a really inexpensive way of finding some more great t-shirts for your wardrobe. Like I'm pretty sure this one was maybe $10. So yeah, finding some good graphic tees, thrifting, or vintage shopping is a great way to actually save money on those pieces. My fourth tip is to look for cream blouses when you're vintage shopping. There always seems to be so many, and I've had a lot of success finding my favorite blouses in vintage shops, specifically in the cream color though. So for example, I've got this blouse. It's actually from Frame. It's got amazing details like the buttons and the sleeves are just so luxurious. I love the frill of them. I could wear this piece every day if I wanted to or I could wear it at night and dress it up. I just absolutely love this top and I probably got it for a fraction of the cost because it was at a vintage store. And then also the top that I'm wearing now, this is also something that I found vintage shopping. It's got this amazing texture to it. I love that it's a little worn in. It looks like it's been washed and worn. It does sometimes take a little while to find a blouse that doesn't have like a little stain on it or maybe a rip or the buttons are falling off. But when you do find these pieces, they're fantastic and again, so cheap. And speaking of cheap, my fifth and final tip to you guys is to try and keep your pieces under $50. For example, this piece that I'm wearing right now, I ch actually still have the tag on it and I checked it and this piece was $24. I looked through all of my pieces that I have from Vintage Shopping and nothing exceeded that price except for one blue velvet Versace top that I found and that one still I don't think was over $100. So keeping the prices down under $50 is something that I recommend. And if you find that you're in a store that's charging over that for each piece, 
then I would go to a different vintage shop because you can find amazing pieces for under $50. You just can. As another example, I left the tag on this one as well because I haven't worn it yet. And this one was $38. So that is my final tip to you guys is try and keep it under $50 for each piece that you find. Well, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys liked these five tips for vintage shopping. If you did, leave a like or subscribe or leave a comment. Let me know how you guys do your vintage shopping. I would love to know. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.